Well, welcome to Beat Diabetes, and my love, welcome to Beat Diabetes. Thank you, Denise, and so, hello, everyone. In case you're tuning in for the first time ever, which probably not too many of you are, but if you are, this is my lovely wife, Benedicta. Hello. Also known me. as Ego Buri, but... Ah, uh, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> that is her uh, traditional oh, name. Oh, dear. Now, today is Blueberry Day. Blueberry. And if you look here, we've got a plate and it's got a cover over it. And mm -hmm. I wonder if very many from the audience can guess what might be under here. You think Nobody they can will guess? Um, you want to keep them guessing? Nobody will be able to guess what is in here. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. it could be anything, right? Could be anything. Could be Open a little, little mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not, right? Little rat. <laughs> Go ahead and take that off. I've got a rat store I could tell about uh, her, but we, we'll leave that alone for this time. Yeah! All right, well, actually, there is a bit of a surprise. I mean, you all expected that there would be a blueberry muffin under here, but there is actually also a strawberry muffin. Strawberries. Blueberries. And we're going to give them the recipe to make blueberry muffins, strawberry muffins, raspberry muffins, no berry muffins, just whatever they like to make. Yeah, all the and, berries muffins. Yeah, yeah. or no berries uh, at no all. No berries at all. Now, you and I both have uh, some things in common and a lot that's not in common, but one thing we do have in common is we grew up, neither of us really eating blueberry muffins, right? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I never knew what it was growing up. But you don't remember your mama calling you in when you're playing with the children. Uh, you know, come in. It's time for your blueberry muffin for breakfast. Breakfast? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't either. Uh, and some people might find that strange because for some Americans, especially the younger ones, they've grown up with blueberry muffins all the time. You yeah. know, it, it's just a standard part of American eating. But my mom was Midwestern, and maybe they weren't as popular in those days, but I just don't remember eating blueberry muffins. Now, we had biscuits and gravy, we had eggs and bacon, pancakes and sausage, and of course, the ever-present cereal. Okay. Cereal all the time. I, I just loved it. But I don't remember blueberry muffins as a child. I do, uh, I did get fascinated and obsessed with them as a young adult. Okay. And I, that's when I began to eat them. And of course, they have so many different mixes you can buy. You just add some water or maybe water in an egg. You mix it around, put it in a muffin pan, cook it in the oven. Bam, you got them. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, I enjoyed those. And that was a part of my eating mm -hmm. when I was a young adult. And then I started having diabetic issues Oh. And uh, I knew I had to go low carb. And the thing about blueberry muffins, they are monsters when it comes to sugar and carbs. Okay. And uh, even the smaller ones are usually be around 30 grams of carbs, which is about candy bar mm. level. Mm. Uh, the big ones you buy in the store that are pre-made and pretty good size, they can have 50, almost like almost two candy bars or a candy bar and a half. Okay. So, they, you know, that was out. And then I learned a recipe that I used for many years. That mm -hmm. was based on soy flour. Okay. And it worked perfectly. They made some great muffins. But guess what? Um, after a while, people started just slamming soy flour. Oh. And I'm not sure to this day that I buy all of that, that it's so evil, because I, I ate soy flour products for probably 15 years. Yeah. And uh, I didn't get the man boobs they talk about. I and don't know about that one. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I, as far as I know, I had no problems from it, but there were two reasons why I kind of gave up on it. One was if I ever show a soy product, a soy flour product on beet diabetes, yeah. man, I'll get a couple dozen negative comments. You know, you big dummy, don't you know soy flour is terrible? <laughs> <laughs> and so that was one thing. And the other is they don't, it's not as uh, available as it used to be. Used to could always find yeah. it at the store. Now, not so much. So I started experimenting with, uh, uh, the almond and the coconut flour, <sighs> and then uh, and you started doing some experimenting of your own. Yeah, I have mine. And you came up with your own recipe. Right. So, uh, it, and, and we learned to make some pretty good uh, blueberry muffins. And for a while, I just left you to make the muffins for me, mm. which had a couple of problems. One is- Problems. You, <laughs> one problem is she makes them when she's ready to make them and only when she's ready. So it's not like, uh, sweetie, could you make me some blueberry muffins? You know, it's like, oh no, I'm too busy. I've got too much on my schedule, too many YouTube videos to watch. Are you kidding? 
<laughs> and so forth. But the other thing is, you kind of throw stuff together, and you probably don't couldn't even give the recipe <laughs> if you wanted to, because she's more of a real cook that just throws things together yeah, and throw in and out it goes, and, yeah, and there, there you go. And I'm like, okay, one quarter of this and one eighth of this, and you know, follow it to the letter. Mm. So the long and the short was I started experimenting uh, this year. Uh, years were great, but they were a little bit, can I say it? Uh, they were a little crumbly and uh, the flavor was perfect. I love the flavor. And she put these cute little almond slivers on top to make it extra special. Uh, they, they were just outstanding in almost every way but they were a little crumbly. They didn't hold together. And that's often a problem you have when you make stuff out of almond and coconut flour, which is the primary ingredients you yeah. used. And it's also the primary ingredients I used here. And so I, uh, I thought, all right, I'm gonna keep making them and making them until I get something that's gonna satisfy me and not be so crumbly. Well, you were saying that mine is not really okay for you. It's not good because it kind of uh, you know falls apart when you open it up and it doesn't stay together. So that's why, you know, and you didn't ask us, uh, how did you make it? Now you're making me look bad. No, sweetie, you could not look bad no matter how hard anybody tried. And I yeah. wouldn't even try because okay, okay. I love you and I want you to always look good and never yeah. look bad. Uh, so anyway, but I did want to uh, try something new with the muffins. And uh, and I uh, I experimented and and I typed in how do you what kind of a thickening agent can you use with like an almond flour coconut flour recipe yeah. you know because basically you want it a little to bind together a little better yeah. not so crumbly mm. so I found three ingredients that will do that you can throw a little bit in you don't doesn't take a lot one is xanthan gum. One is psyllium husk powder and one is protein powder. Okay. I started with protein powder and it worked. It made yeah. them a little more solid, not so crumbly, but I didn't like the flavor. And you can't hardly find a protein powder that doesn't have some kind of a flavor, usually yeah. vanilla or chocolate. And so I used the vanilla protein powder, but I could taste that protein powder and I, I didn't really want that taste. I wanted a blueberry taste. Okay. So... Uh, that was out. Then I tried the xanthan gum. Bam, problem solved. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, and, and at first I tried too much. It, it doesn't take that much. Maybe yeah. a tablespoon, maybe even not quite that. And that makes them more solid. And then I got to thinking about other ways that I could possibly improve them. <laughs> now, let me say this. One thing, one comment I get from a lot of people yeah. is that blueberry muffins are not really approved always by Mike the Meter. And if there's one thing we've learned is we want to please Mike the Meter, right? Yeah, yeah. You got to keep <laughs> please, Mike happy. Ma keep Mike happy. Because you're, you're good. <laughs> If Mike ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Yeah, when they start giving you those numbers, it's like, eh, I'm not happy. <laughs> so I, I, I thought, okay, why is it people say, like, blueberries don't work for me, but strawberries do? Okay. So what I found was that a blueberry and a strawberry both have about one gram of carbs to them. One gram. But a strawberry is much bigger than a blueberry. Okay. So if you just put a couple of blueberries in a muffin, you won't feel like you've got much of a blueberry muffin, but you can take a strawberry and cut it into small pieces, pieces. and you can fill up a muffin with strawberry, but they're both about one gram. Now, if okay. you look at the size, a strawberry is a lot bigger mm. than a blueberry. Mm. So here's, here's the rule I, uh, and I'm not willing to give up blueberry muffins, but here's my rule. I'll never put more than four uh, in my in, in a single cake. muffin. Mm -hmm. Oh, not pancake. Right, muffin. <laughs> a single muffin. So, uh, because and here's the deal: a strawberry has one gram of carbs. Yeah. A blueberry has one gram of carbs. Good. So, if you put one blueberry in a muffin, how many grams of carbs have you put in there? One gram of one carbs. One gram. If you put four grams, like I did here, how many grams of carbs is that? Four grams of carbs. Four grams. What if I get okay. crazy and I say, man, I just want blueberries all over the place. I'm going to put in 10 good blueberries in the muffin. How many carbs have I added? 10 good grams uh, of, uh, carbs. of carbs. Right. So those, those blueberries really do add up, especially okay. if you go crazy. So you just got to be self-controlled if you're going to use blueberries in pancakes, in muffins, whatever mm. it is you, you can do. Okay. You just can't go hog wild. With strawberries, you got a little more freedom to, to kind of fill it up with strawberry pieces. Mm. So 
Uh, we're going to go right now to show you how to make the basic muffin and then how you can give it more of a flavor. What I found is, even though I may only put four blueberries in, if I add some blueberry flavoring, yeah, or blueberry extract, or blueberry sugar-free syrup, okay, it'll still ha feel like a real blueberry muffin, even though it only has four instead of seven yeah. or eight like I might prefer. I was in Walmart the other day and I was looking at all the little extracts and those little things that you add to your foods, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I look for blueberry extract everywhere. Couldn't find any. And uh, there was a lady looking for something next to me. I said, did you ever hear of a blueberry extract? She said, no, I never heard of it. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, I guess I'm not going to find any at Walmart. But I went home and got on the computer and went to Amazon they're all over the place. Blueberry sugar-free syrups, blueberry extracts from different brands. I mean, you can definitely get them from Amazon, if not from your local store. Anyway, let's go right now to the, uh, the video that will show you how to make these babies. And then we'll come back for the official Queen Bee taste test. Yeah. <laughs> Crack three eggs and stir them thoroughly. Add one half cup of heavy cream. Add one half cup of water. Stir the cream and the water with the eggs. Add about one tablespoon of xanthan gum or psyllium husk powder. I tried stirring the xanthan gum into the mix with a spoon, but it didn't blend very well, so I ended up using a submersible blender to thoroughly blend the xanthan gum with the other ingredients. Add baking powder and stir that in. In retrospect, I should have added the baking powder and then used that submersible blender. Add one half cup of Swerve or your choice of non-sugar sweeteners. Stir in thoroughly. Add one half cup of almond flour and one half cup of coconut flour. You could use all almond flour, but I think the combination makes the muffins more tasty. Stir the two flours thoroughly into the mix. I separated the dough into halves so I could make one with blueberries and one with strawberries. I mixed sugar-free grape coffee syrup and sugar-free strawberry coffee syrup into the two mixes. This is completely optional. You could also use strawberry extract, blueberry extract, vanilla extract, or no flavoring at all. Place the mix in a muffin pan. I used a silicone pan which enables the muffins to come out cleanly. Press two blueberries or strawberry pieces to the very bottom and place two on the top of the muffins so that it'll have the fruit throughout when you cut it in half. Bake the muffins at about 375 degrees for about 25 minutes, depending on how hot your oven heats and how dry or moist you like your muffins. When you bring the muffins out of the oven, resist the temptation to take them out of the pan immediately. Let them cool for about 30 minutes and they'll come out more easily and be a bit firmer. Well, we're back and it's time for the Queen Bee taste test. And of course I'll test it as well, but I've been eating these the last couple of days, so I pretty much know what I'm getting. Uh, so I'm gonna ask my lovely wife to cut those in half and give me a half of each. And then we are gonna try them two different ways. We're gonna try them just with butter, and then we're gonna try them with uh, some whipped cream and we've got the keto version of ready whip whipped cream so go ahead and cut those in half okay so what we have here is the uh, the blueberry cut in uh, half and half <laughs> so we got we're going to have part of it with butter and part with whipped cream and then the same with the strawberry so go ahead and take a sample of the strawberry and then take uh, a sample of the blueberry and tell me which one you like the best, or do you like them both equally? Okay. Mm. Mm. That is the strawberry, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Mm. So good. All right, try the blueberry now, and let's compare. Mm. I like the milk quality. Equally. Mm. All right, let me just give it a quick try. Maybe the strawberry a little better, mm. but not much. It's it's pretty close to a tie. Let me put some whipped cream on your two. Oh. Does the whipped cream improve the taste? Mm-hmm. 
It's pretty good without, but it's even, yeah, it's good with that, even better. Try mm. the other one now. I like the blueberry. You think you prefer the blueberry <laughs> overall? Yeah. Okay. But both good, right? But Yeah, both are good. Good all the way around. Yeah, and, it's so good. Uh, so the only good. thing lacking is coffee, right? Yeah, a cup of coffee are good to go. <laughs> a cup of coffee <laughs> and yeah. a good foils war to watch like we did last night. And right. And bam, you are good to go. Patty's on. <laughs> so who says diabetics and pre-diabetics and people that never want to be diabetics can't have fun and enjoy nice, wonderful yeah. things, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know the recipe. We'll leave it in the description if you want to see it and print it out. And... Uh, this will work for yeah. you. This is our 2023 version. Maybe next year we'll find a better <laughs> version. Who knows? Who knows? But for right now, this isn't bad at all. In fact, it's quite good. Very good. So we will see you again on another Beat Diabetes video. I'm just mm. going to finish these babies up. Yep. <laughs> mm. Really quite good. Mm-hmm. If you've recently been diagnosed with diabetes and you've just discovered this channel, let me recommend that you go to our uploads page, which will give you access to every diabetic video we've posted since we began. As you work your way through all our videos, I believe you'll find the help you need. A link to our uploads page is in the description.